Hi, I'm Stephanie Bowden, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to cross Vigna unguinculata, or more commonly known as cowpeas, in a greenhouse setting. So, what are cowpeas? Cowpeas are legumes that are grown worldwide as a food and forage product. This crop's grain is known for its high levels of protein and nutrients. Additionally, it is grown in warm environments and is drought tolerant. Plant breeders focus on breeding for hybrid vigor and for incorporating abiotic and biotic resistance into their cultivars. To properly introduce cowpea breeding, the structure of the cowpea flower and the methodology of their reproduction will need to be discussed. Cowpeas are a self-pollinating crop, which means the flowers of these plants contain both male and female structures, and they ultimately have the ability to reproduce with itself. The anatomy of a cowpea flower is delineated through this picture. Three notable structures are the stigma, pollen anthers, and the keel. These parts will be very important when discussing crossing. Materials needed for cowpea crossing includes a pencil, forceps, 70% dilution of ethanol, a container to store male flowers, paper clips, tags, bags, a refrigerator set at 4 degrees Celsius, and a designated female and male cowpea plant. So now, let's cross cowpeas in a greenhouse setting. Step 1. Mature flowers from designated males should be collected from about 8 to 10 a.m. The mature flowers will be fully opened and will look like this. The flowers should be collected in a bag that contains the plant ID. The amount of male flowers collected will represent how many crosses you desire to make in the afternoon. So for a rule of thumb, one male flower will pollinate one emasculated female flower. Timeline-wise, a cowpea plant will begin flowering from about 45 to 60 days after planting. Step 2. After collection, immediately store the male flowers at 4 degrees Celsius to preserve the viability of the pollen for the afternoon. Step 3. At about 3 to 4.30 p.m., collect the male flowers for crossing. Step 4. Prepare tools for crossing. This includes writing crossing tags and cleaning forceps with 70% ethanol. For crossing tags, we write the female by male identities followed with the date of cross. To clean the forceps, simply dipping them in a solution of 70% ethanol should suffice. This is to prevent any cross-pollination from any previous emasculations made and will need to be done in between each emasculation. Step 5. Locate immature flowers on the female plants and tag them. Immature buds will appear closed up like this one. Once a bud has been found, the crossing tag should be tied between the juncture of the flower to the branch. Step 6. Emasculation of immature female flowers. Using the forceps, clip and remove both the petals and keel. This will reveal the stigma and pollen anthers. Without disturbing the stigma, remove the pollen anthers. Ultimately, the remaining portion of this flower will just be the stigma, meaning it is ready for pollination. Step 7. Pollination with collected male flowers. To reveal the male's pollen, the flower petals will first be removed, followed by the reproductive structures being pulled out of the keel. Next, take the pollen and rub it on the female plant's stigma. Do this until the pollen is visible on the stigma. After pollination, take the male plant's keel and cover the pollinated female plant's stigma. This is to retain high humidity levels, which is ideal in making a successful cross. The last and final step, step eight. Bag the pollinated female flower. This will be performed by covering the pollinated flower with a bag and securing it with the paper clip. This is to prevent any cross pollination. Two days later, a successful cross can be detected. Typically, the keel and the reproductive structures will fall off naturally. But for this demonstration, I removed both in order to show the hybrid immature cowpea pod. A few weeks later, the cowpea pod will then mature, such as the one I'm holding here. Mature pods will then be harvested and dried. Congrats, you now know how to cross cowpeas in a greenhouse setting. Thank you so much for listening to my demonstration.